All right, we're still working on the nut here. That's where the nut needs to be, but I need to shave off a little on either side. So I have it placed in the proper spot now. We're just gonna mark a, uh, a little pencil line on either side. show where it needs to, how much needs to come off. If you can see those lines, that's what uh, that's how much has to come off on either side. It's not much, but it's still enough. Still enough that needs to come off. So and. I had something that I could just clamp right up to the line and then just you know keep sanding away until it none, you know no more comes off. Hmm. So well <clears throat> let's Go away, let's start sanding away. Right. Still could probably take a little bit off on this side, on the trouble side. Side. Let's clean up our sandpaper. Okay. All right, the other side now.
think we're there. All right, let's. All right. The moment of truth. See if this is going to fit just right. Because it has to. It, it has to fit just right. Can't have any overhang. You know, I mean, for, you know, for someone that just wants to do a quick fix and get it done, I mean, yeah, that would probably suffice, but, you know, <clears throat> when, it, when you're the kind of person where everything's just got to be right, then... You know what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah. The uh, the bass string is good, and I think we could take a little bit off of the treble side. So we'll do that. Do that. That is going to work. just taped on there that is going to work just fine there's no overhang it's just it's it's nice and smooth on either side so let's apply some glue and put it in and just as a precautionary note never ever use Gorilla Glue when you're putting the nut on because I mean when you use Gorilla Glue, it's there to stay. So I just use a little, you know, brush of uh, CA glue, you know, just enough to hold it in there. Never use Gorilla Glue on, on that. sanding block away and this is the stuff that I use so I'm just, I'm just gonna brush on a little bit oops let's see right where it needs to go I put I brush some on on the side and on the bottom 
right where it's going to stick. And this stuff sets up pretty quick, so you have to work quick with it. I think they were pretty much the same. I think is the same height as the new one, but not quite sure. Hmm. Not quite sure if there was a little curvature on the bottom of it. It doesn't appear to have any. So, <clears throat> I think that'll be just fine for us. We'll put a little bit of uh, <clears throat> extra glue right on the, uh, right in the corner here kind of lock everything in place. <coughs> and then uh, should hold on there. All right. On to the next part. <laughs> um, what we're going to do here now, uh, we should, well, the old nut can go back in the, in the cup. And put our files right there. 
and clean up some some junk here that we are not going to use. Out. Video is still loading. Mm. Mm. Maybe we could put a little polish up here. I really like this uh, this this stain pen, this you know this little touch-up pen. It is serving my purposes here. It is really helping out a lot. Alrighty then. We are still rolling. Um yeah, so now, okay, we have our new tuners. <laughs> this is going to be the last thing that I do for tonight. And we got to get these uh, little ferrules in there for rules. So, let's say uh, that I turn everything around so you can see better See what I'm doing? Can you? Hmm. Gotta move things back a little. Okay. them fur rule or feral see if I can show you one it's uh, these little things can you see that well that goes in these little holes here that you can see. It's gonna go in there just like that and push it through. You know, if, the, if they'll fit okay. 
don't think we'll have a problem. And then uh, we'll put the, the tuners through the back. And then, you know, screw the, the, uh, the tuner plates in. No. Two, four, six, and there's eight of these. Two, four, six, eight, ten screws. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Okay. we need them. Yep. So, let's it may need to be reamed out just a little bit. That's okay because it's not going to mess anything up. So I'm just, and you want to go nice and straight and turn clockwise. Applying just a little bit of pressure so it it cuts, you know, in there. Just a little bit at a time. Let's see, that's, okay, that's getting pretty close. So we'll try this again. A little bit of pressure. And you, you could use a drill, but that's a little dangerous. Using a reamer like this is a hand reamer. This is the best way. Just a little bit at a time. Almost, almost. Just a little bit more, not much. See, and this, this ferrule is, is not going all the way through to the back, to the back side of the, you know, of the uh, headstock. It's maybe going halfway down. It's 
still needs to go just a minute little bit. Oh, we are so close. We are so, so close. When one of these uh, ferrules goes all the way in and is flush, you know, this little lip on the back is flush with the top, then we can call it good. But it just needs to go just a, mm, just a little bit. Once we find the right depth, then we're going to tape off right up to that point. Let's see. Do we have a piece of paper here? There we go. Piece of paper would probably work. Ooh, yes. That is gonna. That's gonna be good. As long as we cannot stick a piece of paper under there, we're calling it good. So now we're gonna take that ferrule back out, and we're gonna put the reamer. Just set the reamer in there and then tape it up to that point. And then we're gonna do them all like that. We're gonna, um, so, let's see. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's good to have a brush or something handy. on this this uh